welcome who are new my name is Vidi and for today's video I wanted to do a story time that I've wanted to spoke about it if you guys are here for just a story time stay tuned because I really like I don't know I never took the moment to talk about this to anybody really at all and I figured why not say a nice story time to everybody who would like to enjoy so if you guys are interested what, uh, about my stalker story time, please keep on watching. <clears throat> and please subscribe if you guys are new. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys like these kinds of story times. And please share so you can help my channel grow. If you guys are really a good supporter people, I would really appreciate it. I would love to do in return support back, show, sharing your videos as well. But other than that, Let's get to it. I finally decided to go ahead and make this story time. Since we're already heading to 2020, I figured why not talk about all the story times I've gone through of this year, you know? So, yes, I've been having a stalker. A stalker. Yes, I've been having a weird freaking social media stalker. And yes, I do know her, but I'm not going to expose her because I'm not that type of person to do this for this kind of video. I'm here just to explain my story time, what my experience were, and all that stuff. I'm not here for drama because that's not who I am. So... Yes, I have a uh, soccer. I've been noticing it for a while because it's been going on maybe a few years. So, because I would have, like, she would have, she's the one that blocked me in the first place. And because we had drama, because supposedly I took her boyfriend. Supposedly, I fucked up my relationship with her boyfriend. I'm not that type of person to be doing that. I've never done that and I never will. I'm not that kind of person. That would affect me so much just to be that kind of disgusting person that I will never be. And for her calling me my call me as her best friend years ago in the past. Really? So you expect all your BFFs to be taking your boyfriends? You expect a lot of people to be Thinking that you have everything you got. That we were willing to take everything you have. Like we're willing to be all up in your business. Especially me. Like supposedly I'll be all up in your business. But I'm not. I was all up in my own business. I had a lot of problems I dealt with throughout that time too. With me and my uh, my boyfriend. Me and him. We had so much relationship problems that time. That she also had it involved as in. Oh. She's cheating on you because she's. She slept with my boyfriend. Are you kidding me? And then from there, she just started so much drama. He didn't take my side because of the the trust issues we already had that we've been trying to work things out. So obviously, he's going to take the slut girl's side. Yes, I'm going to call her a slut just because that's who she really is. And I'm not because at least I could count. And all of those that I could count were most likely in a relationship that I've been with. That I know. And the stuff that I've learned in the past in relationships. But I just hate the fact that supposedly BFF caused me all these kinds of things. Causing me into like supposedly I'm that kind of person. And start saying fake stories about me. A lot of fake stories about me that I didn't even know until they tell me about it. And I, I'm just here like, well, that's not true because that's not even me. And it really sucked because I wish that he did believe me at that time too. But because he just wanted, he started overthinking and started doing the assuming things. And that's what I hate. I hate everybody assuming things too as well. But all right, now let's get on to the story why she even started even stalking me. So, she blocked me ever since that. Which I had no problem. She's out of my life. End of story. Thank God. But, 
maybe like a year or two, who knows, she would unblock me. And then she'll try to message me like if nothing happened and ask, How are you doing? How's it? How's the baby? How's your life? Blah, blah, blah. Getting in my business. How is this? How is that? Pretty much, you know? And I would just not really respond to her at all. I just ignore it every time. Like, ugh, sorry. Sorry. I'm sick right now, though. And I was just like, really, like, really, like, why would she even bother to think that we are still friends after all this drama that she caused on me? <sighs> I'm getting a little bit too into the story time. I'm here losing breath with my sickness cold throat. <laughs> so I just ignore her, whatever. And she'll block me after that because of me ignoring her, not even responding, but leaving in red. As in, I would, yes, I read it, but I'm not going to respond to you kind of way. So she would block me after. And then, <clears throat> it's been going on for like five years, all this drama that's been going on. That I'm here speaking of from the beginning of that drama. And then a few years later, this is happening, still causing drama. But yes, she unblocked me again. Why? Because after that, she started commenting on my posts. Um, yeah, she started commenting on my post, like, agreeing with my comp, my status post of what I'm speaking of, of all these kinds of things. She would just keep on commenting on them, and I would not respond to them back, because we're not even friends on Facebook. I'm not even friends with her on Facebook, but she'll still comment into my pro. she'll go to my profile and comment in my post. Like, if it's okay for her to even go to my stuff and start commenting me, like, we're friends still. And I'm not even friends with you on Facebook. Like, what do you expect for me to be okay with that? Especially with all this kind of drama that you keep on putting on yourself as well. But she kept going on and on and on. And I was not gonna... And she... Oh my god. She kept constant, constantly kept sending me friend requests. I kept denying them. Friend request denied. I am not. I I'm pretty sure she got the idea that I didn't want to be her friend, cause obviously it's gonna set to me right away if I want to accept that or not, and I could accept it right away if I have not accept that right away. I have not accepted that for so long, and especially when you know you're stalking me, when you know I'm super active, doesn't it get the idea that I don't want you to be your friends anymore? I I not even at all. I don't even want you to even even be accepted to be able to continue stalking on my Facebook. Even though it's public though. But we're not even friends. Oh, that got me so mad. So I got so annoyed of it. Cause after that to the point my boyfriend's been telling me, oh she keeps sending me friend requests as well. So we keep denying her or we just keep ignoring it to even not even want to bother because then if we keep denying her, she's gonna constantly keep sending friend requests. So we just ignored it. From then on. So she doesn't constantly do that. And I was just annoyed of her getting into my business. Like, why can't you just mind your business? So I go to her on Instagram. I leave her a message. So I do have proof of this convo. And I'll be showing you guys on the side. But so let me just get my phone out though. I could be able to explain it because it's been years, months ago now, not not years, <laughs> months ago, and she just still doesn't give the hint that, you know, if you ruin your friend's life, don't you think that she won't say, won't forgive your apology after all these years that you still keep on doing the same thing, causing problems towards me as well? Yeah, I guess she doesn't get the idea of it. She just loves drama. That's why I stopped being her friends from then. Because the way she was being a drama to, to towards me and everything. And everybody. She'll do the same thing. She'll cause problems with anybody. Not just me, but... Okay, so there it is. So, I gave her a message. It was, what, like 7 p.m.? Because I was just done for it. And so I go to her and say, Stop going through my account and blank jonathan which is will not add you thank you and move on positive vibes here dot 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 
And she says, Laugh out loud, girl. You're fucking stupid. As fuck you and your little family. Blessed that my kids will never be around your kids. Ha ha. Glad moved away from you, you guys. Your guys. And then to say, that's what she says. Ugly ass. Oh, by the way, I'm in tomorrow. I would gladly, gladly, I would gladly love to catch hands with you. You let me guess. You or get better. LMAO, I will be waiting for your response because in the long, I will be the last one standing. Just saying. She really does not know who I am because she's not even my real friend then if she would know who i am she knows i hate drama she knows i don't even like to throw hands because i've never fought i've had a lot of people try to uh, fight me in the past but i would always been the type of person to be the bit bigger person and walk away from it because i don't see in any at all fighting would cost anything like to end it no, you're just gonna keep on going. The way, especially the way she is, I don't think it's worth to fight her. Especially when she is such a skinny mom. She's a mom too. And she's being this way. With two kids already. I'm here with two kids. And I'm not even here doing these kinds of things. I'm here trying to live my life. Trying to teach my kids right. Trying to be here. Keep the freaking house organized. But she's here acting this way when she has kids wanted to throw hands with me girl we're not in high school no more you could have done this when we were in high school you could have done this when we even had kids before you even had kids if you had an issue with me long time ago we could have done this but at the long run i still wouldn't probably fight her i would just yell at her and anything and then just be done with it and walk away from that point i just got really like so pumped up about it. I also said this. <clears throat> Give me a moment. I think I might need to clear my nose. <laughs> so she sounds already stupid from right here. So let's continue on. Okay. So where was I? Okay, so yes. You are taking things all wrong. All I'm saying is leave me alone in a good word. You love drama and will always love the drama, so I'm not involving myself with the drama. You will look stupid trying to fight me because you know I don't fight and never had because that's not my game. So yes, I won't show up because I'm a mother. I don't have time, but look for someone to fight because it's not me. Thank you. Good night. Good luck. And your babies are adorable. Good luck in life. No disrespect. As I still continue on as no disrespect in each time because I'm trying to tell her like quit the drama do you see me still trying to show you respect as much as you're here sounding pathetic so and she's like what the fuck you haven't even seen my kids and never will trust me my kids will never be around you guys or your kids reasons why I left because I didn't my kids to be around none of blank's family LMAO, glad I've moved far, far away from that family. Best decision ever. Well, I'm not going to reply at night. Okay, so she brings up someone's family towards me. Like, it's gonna hurt me. So what she's going through is she's not trying to cause problems with me, but she's trying to cause problems with more than just one person in this subject. Like, really? Do you have no life? Like... Apparently not because you constantly keep stalking my page and I know you are constantly stalking me. So if you're on here Hi, bitch Please get out. If not, it's okay. You could continue saying I don't mind because I know you have nothing else to do But get into everybody's business And I said you have no respect for anything. No wonder no one can not get along with you anywhere I just literally just uh, blocked her from then <laughs> And that's how it ended. So, and you know what's funny though? Because I was hearing some drama of her going on after like months later, which is kind of close to it now. And I actually, I purposely 
unblocked her because I don't can't remember why. It was suddenly very sketchy because we felt like she was the one prank calling someone, and so because it was in the area where she is living at the mo at the most part as well. So I purposely uh, unblocked her to find out some information maybe that could help so we could like report it that this person's block uh constantly calling but it was at the end and then it was so funny i unblocked her and it could what within five minutes she starts stalking me right away on facebook and she stalked me and gave me a comment in one of my photos and laughed at me she just goes ha 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 Apparently, she didn't move on when I told her to get fuck off to mind her own business. Because I even, uh, I took, I screenshotted it. Um, here it is. I screenshotted it and it took her one hour after I started noticing it. If I wrote, I noticed it within one hour she started doing that. And from then, I thought I blocked her again. But I didn't. Or Facebook didn't. So that's why she got the access to be able to go ahead and stalk me. But either way, I blocked her again. So she doesn't still stalk me because apparently she still wants to stalk me. Even though I, if I even tried to unblock her, she just wanted to stalk me still. But who knows? Maybe she also has another account that's stalking me as well. But <coughs> at the end of it, i just not a drama person. I just hope to God. She matures up, she realizes what she's doing is a waste of time. And I hope her kids are doing good in life, you know? Because apparently she isn't doing good in life and when she has no life, but apparently she doesn't have the time to do those things because like, you're a mom. I'm like, okay, by the way, let blank rest he is gone. No need to bring his name here unless it's your kid. Um, anyway, sorry, my phone fell because of my kid. <laughs> but anyways, what I'm saying is I feel bad for the kids just because their mom isn't mature to move on and mind other people's businesses, but can't take care of her own business. Like, I just hope to God that at least those kids are being taken care of. And I hope that she's not doing anything useless in her life at the end of it i would just like to wish that this doesn't continue on with this kind of drama that she loves to do and i just wish that she changes for the better like i just only think of positive in life i just think of positive for the kids as well as much as like this is all so pointless but i hope you guys really enjoy this video and if you guys do, please give it a thumbs up, like, and share. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.